Otutu Oma, my African brothers and sisters. Uh, today I'm not happy. Um, I don't like this decision that the MK party has taken uh, to withdraw Dr. John Shope from the JSC. I don't like it. I don't like it that they are not continuing their fight in court. I understand why they are trying to say um, they have a different strategy. But right now, as things stand, I don't agree with their strategy. I don't. And also, why didn't you guys tell me that um, the Democratic Alliance has got a spokesperson? I didn't know that the DA has got a spokesperson. A, a black one, Nohal. Hmm. I honestly did not know. I thought the spokesperson, the president, the leader, the founder, and the face of the DA is Goko Zela. And there's other people in the DA, but they come out, obviously, when it's time to fight other African people. So we'll talk about Usis Karabo a little bit later on. So the JSC has continued with the interviews trying to fill the, po uh, the post. I want to play a short clip, a short clip as to how those interviews went. And I want you to tell me. <laughs> hey, Buffett, I'm not sinking in. I want you to tell me what you think about the statement that was made in this clip that I'm going to play you. Uh, listen, <laughs> you're going to be shocked that a person can make this statement during an interview panel and an interview procedures. I, I'm not happy, but let's talk about that and much more. Welcome to King Said So, Africa's one land, one language, one currency, one army on King Said So. Africans can unite your Pan Africanist podcast. Enjoy. Peace in Pan Africanism to all my African brothers and sisters from all around the world. Welcome back to King Seso. I'm your host, Kahi Sotongwane Zinjiva Sono. Mr. Easy Imali and we're back at it again with another one, and your boy is not happy today. I'm not happy with. Uh, this decision to withdraw Dr. John Shopee. I think there's something that the MK party is not understanding uh, when it comes to these fights. That um, These fights are not only um, for the MK voters, but for everyone else that believes in fighting for what is right. I did not like it when the MK dropped the case against the IEC. Excuse me. Uh, the IEC in terms of the the... The, the rigging of the uh, national elections. They withdraw that case. They said, we'll resume this case later on. We're still packing our, our, our documentation. I did not like that. I did not like that. But we agreed with it. We said, okay, if they want to hit you with technicalities, it's better you withdraw, get a strength, get your documents together, get your evidence packed in, in a nice package so that you can present it better in court. But since since that time we've been waiting till now i don't like that i also don't like this decision that they have made currently to say no they're withdrawing with dr don Chape. i'm going to explain um why i don't like it you know but let's first listen to the spokesperson of the mk political party uh, what he's saying about this let's begin with uh, the decision to withdraw with immediate effect from the JSC. Why go through all this rigmarole only to come at this late stage to say, actually, I'm withdrawing? Well, what you refer to as a rigmarole is actually not a rigmarole. Uh, it is important that we challenge the system, and that's what we're doing here. We can't allow courts to interfere in parliamentary processes. We are lawmakers. Courts are supposed to ensure that citizens and they ensure that abide to the law and ensure that they oversee the implementation of the law accordingly. Not question parliamentary processes that are duly constituted as per the constitution. Now, we need to ensure also that we expose the issues of separation of powers because this is exactly what's happening. They're overreaching. So it's not a rigmarole. It is exposing this current process in this current system or the judiciary. If the courts were overreaching, why not stay the cause? Why not stay the cause how? We need to expose their overreach. So what have you so, exposed by Dr. John Lope simply withdrawing now altogether? No. 
What no, is it's, all it's, this it's effort not an, for? It's not an issue of simply withdrawing. Mm -hmm. And I think you're taking it lightly, what is happening here. If you look at the process at which was taken place leading up to this decision, you realize that it was logistically impossible, one, for parliament to even sit and preside over this matter because we were in recess. And the judgment was literally a week before today being the sitting. So does that show reasonability on your end? No. So we can't afford to sit and take things lying down. Him resigning is on the basis, by the way, and doesn't mean that we're abandoning the application of Part B as per the DA's application. We're still going to continue with that. But him resigning is because he will not want to blemish his name off the back of a process that is not constitutional and that is not representative of the people's will. That's exactly what's happening here. You know, this is my issue with um, sometimes having leaders that do things that maybe we don't understand. Sometimes when you follow, you have to have some type of faith in what the leadership is doing of the party and say, okay, these leaders, they probably know better than me. They, are, they have a strategy. And when you are someone like me, it becomes hard because you want definite, clarified answers. Like as to why are you withdrawing this man there? Let me explain my fight with this. The fight that Dr. John Trope was having, it's a fight to say, listen, there is no constitutional clause, there is no law that prohibit, prohibits Dr. John Trope uh, because he was impeached from one arm of the government so uh, that he cannot serve in, in the in the JSC. The only thing that qualifies a person to serve in the JSC is that he is elected a member of parliament and he was. The other political parties, the Democratic Alliance and a part of the ANC has brought up the argument of integrity. Now, nothing in the constitution speaks about integrity. There is no clause that says, yeah, but you have to investigate someone's integrity. Because if we were to talk about integrity, most of these politicians will not be sitting in these committees that they are sitting in. The finance committee, in the cultural committee. In the, there's so many committees in, 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 in parliament that when we have to scrutinize the people according to the portfolio that they are serving in, they would not qualify, most of them, because of what? Their history patterns or their history activities that, um, that they did in the past, you know, including <coughs> guys. So now the 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 NK party has decided no, we are withdrawing this guy because we've got a plan. We know what we are doing. Um, we uh, we are going to show you guys some magic. No, no, I'm saying we. And when I say we, I mean the the MK supporters, the EFF supporters. We understand that the MK and the EFF probably would not win most of the cases that they take um, to um, to courts. Probably they would not win. We understand and have accepted that that the courts are against the ANC. I mean the the the, the EFF and are against the Umkonto is a political party. We understand it. In our hearts, we know when Jacob Zuma goes to court, it's an 80 20 percent uh, chance that he's going to win. When he wins, we get surprised. You know, when he loses, we, we that's what we expect. So the NK party. When they take U Dr. John Shope to uh, to challenge this issue of being excluded from the JSC, is that we know that they they, they are not going to follow the rule book. They're going to bend the rules in order to punish U Dr. John Shope. They are clearly not loving this man. They want him out. You understand? So we, the supporters, we are okay with this issue of um, U Dr. John Shope losing the case. But what we don't want is the MK not to fight. You guys correct me on the comment section. We want you to fight. Fight up until you um, get to a point where they say um, <clears throat> they dismiss your case. They do whatever. It's fine. We want to see what type of judiciary do we have? What type of court systems do we have in South Africa? Which side are they swinging? So that it can be recorded in history what they did to Dr. John Hoppe. Not giving up. I don't like it. The, the win and the lose in the court is not for the MK party. It's for everyone else. It's for us. For us who wants to see fighting. You know, I go into the ring. 
I go into the ring. I can make an example. I went to go fight in in um, Johannesburg. For those who don't know, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm a professional boxer. Well, I did not renew this year, but up until last year, up until April this year, I was a professional boxer. You in some fights you go knowing that the promoter, the boxing promoter who's promoting the tournament wants you to lose. The referee is probably against you. They want you to lose. They're going to do everything. Even the fans, everyone wants you to lose. But I can't sit there and say, no, just because the odds are stacked against me, I'm not going to fight. We go into the fights, ladies and gentlemen. We go into the fights, we fight. Some we lose, some we win. So what? That is part of life. Do you guys understand what I'm trying to say to you? So for me, it's it's. I'm very disappointed in this because now... You are creating a pattern, uh, MK political party, that when you are not so sure about your case, you are withdrawing your arguments. You are drawing, you withdrawing yourself from the, 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 the court, court procedures. You did it with the, the evidence of the rigging of the elections. We said, okay, they're going to come back. Uh, it's been months later. It's been three months later. Nothing has come out. Uh, we're trusting that maybe you are still gathering the evidence. I'm not sure if it will come out again. And now is this of, of Dr. John Trappen? No, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. MK people, tell me what you think about this on the comment section. Let me hear what um, your thoughts are. I think this we have to discuss it even deeper because I'm, I'm, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. <sighs> okay, I see you again. Because now my issue is that Nichabulisa nezinja is nga fane langa ukchabula. Now, but you're making the DA look good. You're making the DA look like uh, we know the DA, the courts are on the DA side. And we know that, we know that. But you're making them look good, man, when they make you give up before the fight is uh, officially finished. Let the judges hit you in court, man. Now, all of a sudden, we are discovering that the DA has got a spokesperson. I did not know that the DA has got a spokesperson. How? The DA has got a spokesperson. She's so happy, lo, lo, says, lo, she's speaking, just speaking, so happy. Yeah, just listen to how happy the DA is to keep Dr. John Trope out of the JSC. We will not allow. Because the bottom line here remains, Oskatlacho, we've said in the past that if the MK party was really adamant that they wanted somebody else to serve on the JSE to have a fully constituted designation from Parliament with their representation as, a, as an opposition party from the AK side, they could have written to Parliament to ask for that to happen, and that hasn't happened yet. And so what we've also done is to get Parliament's advice legally on what this means as far as um, uh, the numbers that are now five instead of six, what it means legally there but as the democratic alliance we remain committed to 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 our argument in this case to say that the people all the other people from parliament who serve in the jse uh, are the right people the only problem that we had with the composition of parliament's designation was for sitting on that on, on 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 the commission himself because of him being compromised so that mk party mustn't try to to try to to to, to play with south africans our intelligence and our emotions by calling the uh, the constitution the, the composition of the jse one that lacks integrity or one that, that 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 is unconstitutional or illegal because that is far from the case if anything it would have been one that could have been compromised had Ndadokopa himself been part of the JSE but without him there we have absolute we have absolute confidence in the JSE we have absolute confidence with all the other commissioners who are serving there we have absolute confidence in South Africa's judicial commission and we look forward to ensuring that the vacancies that are going to be filled across all all courts including the vacancy that was created by Sopez's um, impeachment. We look forward to seeing those outcomes and who's going to be there. Because Bob now we've been introduced to people that we don't know. Who, who the hell is the spokesperson of the Democratic Alliance, Ukarabo? Who's that? Who's that? Did you guys know who Karabo is, or is it me who's living under a rock somewhere? I repeat, and I will always remind my fellow African brothers and sisters who vote for the DA, who participate in politics of the Democratic Alliance. Nizo Sola Ekinen. The great Sola Goma Fellow. Nizo Sola Ekinen. You guys did not 
listen to what Abu Hemen Mashaba Abu Musi Maimane said to you about your political party being racist. And the DA will always use this um what do we call them? Because Minang Fung Babis are not clever back. They are not clever. Sibabis and Marlava. And I don't want to um say I'm a coconut because sometimes you see we are putting them on pedestals. That they, you guys give me a name for this type of people of Afana Nabukarab who think that oh yes, in, right now we have one, we have discipline. Oh, Doctor John Fope is out, the highest qualified, most experienced law practitioner in our country. Oh, Doctor John Fope, that's the guy you want to keep out of the JSC. Why? Because he told his other colleagues in 2007 or somewhere there to say, guys. Um, this matter is out of out of my hands. It's in your hands now. You decide what you want to do. And now they call it with big name gross misconduct. That's what they call it. It's a gross misconduct from uh, uh, Dr. John Trapper. Why? Because he was seen as if as if he was trying to favor uh, Dr. Uh, uh, um, uh, Zuma. That's 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 the problem. The Zuma. Uh, connection the, the the zuma association will will get you crucified but we wait to see what is going to happen with this government of national confusion because the da is still fighting U, Uten Bing Kadimeng, uh, the minister of justice they they actually did not want her to be part of this procedure U Julius malema was not part of the procedures i'm not sure why um, we're going to hear from the EFF. I think tomorrow they're having a press briefing. They said I saw a, um, uh, uh, an invitation to say they're having a press briefing. I wonder what they're going to give us in that press briefing. I will definitely cover that for you guys. But for me, I'm just saying um, that is why we should never uh, give up on our dreams and on our fight for land, on our fight uh, to amend and change the constitution on our fight to unite Africans, uh, not only in South Africa, but um, in, the, in the entire uh, continent of Africa. We, we must never uh, give up on those things because this, um, these Africans that have sold out to white monopoly capitalists and the white, money cap uh, white, pol uh, mo white monopoly capitalists are so happy to see us giving up. We can't give up, my Africa. We can never give in and give up as to, as to the dreams that we need to achieve as African people in our continent. We, we cannot give up. Look at how happy they are. they are. They are so celebrating this thing as if there is some type of an achievement that they have, they, they have got. And I understand why. But let's not give up, my Africa. Let's not give up. Let's not give up. Let's, let's continue to fight uh, this issue of... Um, of uniting and backing each other up. You know, the EFF was fighting with the MK. Um, now they are disappointed. I, I saw the interview of Sisi Umpile Maute saying whatever the MK does is their business. But we were fighting with the MK on principle because one of ours was being attacked. That's the type of language that I like to hear, you know. And now the JSC has continued with the interviews. <laughs> Judge uh, Mulambo said something. He said something that when he said it, I was like, how can you say this during an interview uh, um, procedure? How can, how can you say this? Are you trying to influence other people to favor this particular person with this statement that you have made? Especially for the Western Cape. Listen to the statement and you guys tell me what you think. Thank you. I also enjoyed working with him. Thank you. Good morning, Judge Bartman. Good morning, Judge Mlambo. Uh, I want to tell the Commission that you were one of my best students when we were training SCA judges on case lines. Um, could you just give um, an indication of, if you know, how many full court appeal panels have you presided in in the Western Cape? If you can, it's too many. It's over fifteen years. Too many. Yeah. Thank you. Um, 
in the you see now i i don't know uh, maybe you know your boy king is reading too much into things for me um what the George Mulambo, uh, Judge Mulambo, George Mulambo, uh, <laughs> Judge Mulambo, and oh, Judge um, Bartman uh, did there, and I'm not uh, blaming Bartman um, because she was answering the questions. But what U Judge Mulambo did? <laughs> Just imagine an interview situation, and um, Someone comes in in the interview, sits there. There is a panel that is watching this particular person sitting. And um, I'm, I'm the one who's running these procedures. And I'm, I'm like, you know what, um, guys, I, I just wanted to say um, this YouTuber, he was one of the, my best students uh, during my, I just wanted to put it out there that he was one of, what nonsense is this? What rubbish is this? Is this what you wanted to do? In the absence of Dr. John Chopin. Hmm? Now we will be watching very carefully if this lady will get the nod in Western Cape. We'll be watching very carefully. And I saw, I think the, the three candidates that must replace Dr. John Chopin on his position, all of them, they are not black. Uh, if you don't count, count colored as black. All of them. Because the DA is going to get what they want. In the, in the Western Cape. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Now here is one. Where Tosh Uchach Malambo says. No, not this one. I was one of my best students. During uh, our time. When I was uh, when they were still under me. One of my best students. Is that not influencing. How this person is perceived. And looked. And for me it's funny. How these best students don't know numbers. How many court procedures. Um, what was the question that he asked? It says, uh, how many court procedures did you guys sit in and all of that? You guys tell me. Um, is an answer of saying, ah, I'm, I'm not sure. There are too many. It's been 15 years. You're going to an interview. These numbers, you should have a round, a round off figure uh, somewhere, somewhere to say no. Um, um, for the last 15 years, I think it's something close to 200, you know. You know, something, give us a number. There are too many. What is too many? 300, 1 million, 10,000, 5 million. You know, for me, the way they, they, that and the, the way these judges answer questions, uh, if you go, if you guys want me to do a breakdown in all the interviews, uh, please uh, just write interviews uh, on the comment section. Uh, tomorrow, I might have some uh, two hours to sit here uh, afternoon after work and watch them and uh, record some of the things that they've been saying because i was i was just listening through the earpiece when i was working at work and i'm telling you i was laughing away to say listen to what these judges are saying how they are answering this question so embarrassing to tell to tell you the least so for me um this is what they wanted to do at the except, uh, uh, absence of uh, dr john Chope and um I did not like, like I said, I did not like this issue of the MK withdrawing um, uh, Dr. John Tropede. I don't like it. In passing, uh, actually, I, th I thought I was not going to speak about this, but uh, let me just touch on it. There is, I think, uh, six children in um, Soweto again who have passed away. Um, I think five has passed away. One is fighting for their lives, for their life in uh, in hospital with this issue of food poisoning, um, and obviously suspected that it is um, this Pakistani Somali shop and Operation Dudula is all out all arms, you know, trying to close every shop in that area and everything. Oh. <sighs> I I can't imagine losing uh, my child to food poisoning because food poisoning for me is a very painful death. You understand what I'm saying? Um, the stomach is, is groaning. The stomach is heating up, temperature going up, uh, the vomiting. Sometimes the vomiting also leads to... Uh, it's it's something that is not nice. The our country's intelligence, our police, our politicians, our communities, 
need to come down and sit down um, with a permanent solution to this issue because clearly the food inspectors um, that that whole industry of um, uh, informal businesses you know the township uh, township market is this there's something drastically uh, happening wrong there we can't continue to lose children like this you know and um i don't want a situation where the community will take um matters in their hands i can imagine as a father if my daughter my little child had to come home with a stomach it have te temperature you take the child to hospital the child uh, passes away i can just imagine what those parents the, the the level of anger and when they find out there's a other group of children and all of them probably ate zimba chips from this eye ah, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. something must be done man. something must be done um and remember, it's, it's from the production uh, cycle, you know, some of this, this food, the way they were made in an unhygienic environment and all of those things. Our inspectors are failing us. The people who are supposed to um, um, apply the law of South Africa are failing us. And this thing is spilling into the community. I am afraid to I man. So heartbroken. I just wanted to send my condolences to those families. I I really don't have a solution as I'm sitting here to to that issue. But to say that the, the inspectors must do their job. It's really it. We can't. Do, it's shootings in KwaZulu Natal. It's shootings in Eastern Cape. Here is food poisoning, and it looks like uh, Soweto specifically because of the millions of millions of people that live in Soweto. They just fall victim to this type of crime. It's, it's really not nice, you know. It's not nice. I'm not going to sit here and defend it. Uh, that rubbish. So, yeah. You guys will tell me. Hey, yeah, Buffett. Thank you so much uh, for tuning in, guys. Those who have not subscribed, please consider uh, clicking the subscribe button. You are in your pen. Africanist podcast with your boy King 053 Mr. Easy where we try to unite Africans, where we try to build the African bond between African children in South Africa and in the country at large. And one of the ways that we are trying to do that is to build schools everywhere in Africa. What is these schools? These schools are, are, are named the Pan-African Schools of Economics, Technology and Agriculture. We do have a branch in South Africa. We have a branch in Namibia. Uh, we have a branch in Lesotho. We have Uganda. We have also um angola i'm looking to establish botswana and zimbabwe very soon hopefully before the end of the year so if you are from botswana zimbabwe uh, kenya anywhere you are watching me from and you want us to start paseta in your country please feel free to contact us you know on these details and everyone who has contributed to paseta we thank you so much i cannot i cannot grow tired to say um, thank you to everyone who's who's, um, who's donated because the donations are coming in each and every day. And no matter how little those do donations are, every day when I see a 50 rand coming into our account, a 100 rand coming into our account, it brings um, a spirit of gratitude for me. So I thank each and everyone who has contributed to Paseta. Please don't stop. And if you haven't uh, contributed to Paseta and you are in a place where financially you can have a 50 rand to donate to the school please do so for those who don't work you know what i always say for you guys watching the video sharing the video is already enough of support for me but for those who are working let's build my africa let's not be african people who are always talking and complaining but let's be proactive when people ask us what we are doing and we can point at this school and say we are building the school the pan african school of economics technology and agriculture thank you so much guys and please do follow me on my other accounts on my other youtube account african mojolo with your boy king uh follow me on facebook on um, um what you call tiktok on on uh what do you call it x uh twitter format twitter please follow me everywhere so that you guys can keep uh, in touch with your boy king until we meet again don't forget to pray but after you pray stand up african child do your best so that god can do the rest peace in pan-africanism I salute you.